Okay. Daphne Brown of Vancouver Sun. I'm with Larry Milius. We're out on a on a big a boat. <laughs> a search and rescue boat. It's Coast Guard. What's the biggest mistake people do when they go boating? The biggest mistake that people do in, in, in these waters is they don't check their charts. They don't check to see where they are, the depth of the water when they're coming into harbors that they're unfamiliar with. They run aground or they hit a rock. I think that's uh, the thing that we encounter the most in the summertime, yeah. And when you're doing these rescues, I mean, everybody thinks that these rescues are always something really dramatic, but what's, what's the most likely thing that you're going to go out and have to rescue people for? Um, rescue people for? Well, rescue boats. Well, basically, uh, I think that the thing that we do is set people's anchors when the wind comes up. The people who come into the harbor, like up here at Thetis Island, and they set their, their boats at anchor, like the Amira here, and they don't set it correctly. A big wind comes up, and their $250,000 boat is starting to drag towards the rocks. We get called, we get a lot of calls like that. We also get people who run out of fuel, and they're out in the water, they're adrift. Uh, people who uh, fall overboard, that happens, not so much as the other things, but just foolishness, I think. Yeah. Can you uh, another mistake that they make? I mean, what would you see when you're going out to, to do some of these rescues? Well, whenever we see someone in trouble, the first question we ask them, first or second question, is do you have your PFD on? Because and a PFD is? A personal flotation device, your life jacket, and it is really super important in these cold waters that we live in, because when you hit the water, um, a lot of things happen to you physiologically. You're going to go through a gas reflex, which can actually make you pass out immediately, and then you'll drown. And at that point, you want to have some kind of flotation. If you pass out, you want to be able to float. If you make it through that, the cold water will make you pretty much unable to even put your zipper up on your, on your flotation device. After about five or six minutes, your hands become very numb. You can't coordinate yourself. And at that point, your, your life preserver is no use to you. Someone and if I've got my PFD water. on, how long can I last in the water here? You will be able to last about an hour. That's it, an That's hour. That's it. And if I don't have one, I'm going down? In less than 10 minutes. Wow. So that's the most important thing for people to it's go out in the boat. It's very, very, your, very, very on. important to put your PFD on and wear it. Yeah. Wear it. When you're on top of your boat, if you have a sailboat, when you go up on deck, put your PFD on. That's my advice.